Some more interesting facts about dogs. 1. And other weird bodily functions. Unlike humans, dogs' shoulder blades are not attached to the negation skeleton, allowing for greater flexibility for running. They mainly sweat from the bottom of their feet as most of their sweat glands are located around the foot pads. They also have a third eyelid, or negation nictitating membrane, which helps to keep their eyes moist. Dogs can shake 70% of the water out of their fur in 4 seconds, generating more g-force than F1 drivers experience in sharp corners. 2. Dogs dream just like you. This won't come as a huge surprise to anyone who has watched their own dog twitching or whimpering in their sleep. Dogs have the same brain wave patterns while they are asleep as humans, so they dream just like we do. But what is more surprising is the fact that not all dogs dream the same amount. Small dogs actually have more dreams than big dogs. For example, a small dog such as a toy poodle may dream once every 10 minutes, whereas a Great Dane may have around an hour between each dream. 3. Dogs can fall in love. They don't call it puppy love for nothing. The concept that dogs can fall in love was suggested by anthropologist Elizabeth Marshall Thomas, author of The Social Lives of Dogs, who believed two dogs named Sundog and Bin were agonized star-crossed lovers kept apart because neither of their owners wanted to give them up. It may sound far-fetched but Paul Zak, a professor at Claremont Graduate University in California, found that a dog's brain releases oxytocin, the love hormone when it interacts with humans and dogs, just the same as a human brain does when we hug or kiss. 4. How and why they became man's best friend. Scientists believe that humans and dogs first became best friends 30,000 years ago and our close bond started in Ice Age Europe when wolves, negation ancestors of today's domesticated dogs, were first tamed by the ancient hunter-gatherers. They are known as man's best friend for good reason. Research shows that dogs are more confident exploring the world when they have their owner, rather than anyone else, by their side. Scientists have found that their owner's smell actually sparks activation in the reward center of dogs' brains and our odor lingers there like a perfume, triggering an instinctive emotional response. Now we know why our pets are so pleased to see us. 5 think you look like your dog? Here's why. Pet dogs have been shown to match their owners in both personality and looks. Some psychologists believe this might have spilled over from the way we evolved to find mates, by choosing a mate who looks like you, it may ensure their genes are compatible with your own. Dogs respond to the sound of a human crying with the same part of their brain that responds to whining dogs, MRI scans show. Dogs can also catch yawns from humans, but a study has shown that they are five times more likely to do so if the yawn comes from their owner, which suggests canines can empathize with people. 6. Poodles' hairstyles aren't just for looking good. Poodles' hairstyles may seem like a fashion statement, but they were originally clipped to make them better swimmers. They dogs were bred to retrieve game from water and the bottom half of the body was shorn to make them more buoyant. 7. Watch out for Shih Tzus. They may be dinky and cuter than a newborn baby, but Shih Tzus are one of the breeds most closely related to the wolf. 8. Ever wondered why they're so cute? Ever wonder why you find it impossible to resist when your pooch pleads for a treat? Well, dogs exhibit neoteny which means they retain baby-like features, such as large eyes and playful behavior, long into adulthood. And it's thought we selected them for this, essentially to be cuter. 9. Some dogs are more rare than pandas. The Dandy Denmont Terrier is now considered rarer than the giant panda. The British breed was named after a character created by Sir Walter Scott in his novel Guy Mannering. Thanks to the popularity of the book, they became fashionable and famous dandy Dinmont owners included Queen Victoria. 10. Right pod or left pod? About 90% of humans are right-handed, with most of the rest left-handed and a very small percentage ambidextrous. But dogs are more evenly split, 
with one third right pod, one third left pod and the rest without preference. Dogs who are right footed are more likely to pass the guide dog training program than south paws. Research shows right handed animals tend to be bolder and more inquisitive so are more suited to being a guide dog. Left-handed dogs also tend to be more aggressive.